Hello, and welcome to ENN On Air, our digital news show giving you the stories of today. I'm Hope Valenti. And I'm Betsy Schleyhuber. Thank you for joining us. If you're looking for love and a furry friend, you're in luck, because you can adopt a dog or cat from Burlington Animal Services for just $14 through the end of this week. The shelter has discounts each month, taking the price down from $90 for a dog and $50 for a cat. Program manager Laura Michael says that even though there's a discount, it doesn't mean the new owner won't treat the animal well. Shelters need to remove barriers from keeping people from adopting. So whether it's an adoption or um, age requirements or you know things like this, if you remove the barriers, then you really do improve your life-saving numbers and your you know you drive your adoptions. Michael says there's a stigma that dogs and cats are not treated well at animal shelters. But she says it's their job to advocate for the animals who can't speak for themselves. You'll hear somebody say, oh, I don't want to take my, don't take your pet to the shelter, they'll put it down. And I just cringe because that absolutely is not the truth here. It is not the truth. And, you know, I just, if people who are naysayers or you know, think that this is a bad place and they need to come visit. If you're interested in adopting a dog or cat, visit the Burlington Animal Services website at the bottom of your screen. Vital Signs is set to host their ninth annual Make-A-Wish fundraising concert this Saturday in Whitley Auditorium, and their goal is $10,000. All seven Elon Acapella groups and two from North Carolina State University are set to hit the stage. President of Vital Signs, Macy Bischoff, says she hopes the concert inspires the audience. For any Make-A-Wish kid, it's obviously inspiring probably to see older kids like us just doing things in groups, as groups, in a, in a college setting. Um, whether they have music involved in their lives or not, it's just a really cool thing to see a huge group of kids coming together to support something like the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which is so helpful to kids with critical illnesses. Elon senior Miles Carabello is planning the concert for his third time. This year there's an extra hurdle as all performers are required to be tested for COVID-19 within 48 hours of hitting the stage. Despite like by far one of the best acapella concerts at Elon, even just like past Vital Signs personal concert, like it's just such a magical event and it really brings a lot of hope and just happy thoughts for everybody. To purchase tickets, visit the Vital Signs table in Mosley Center all week from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. or at the door on Saturday. Tickets cost $7 for students and $10 for faculty and staff. Senior Colin Zeno found a second home with his fellow dancers, despite being the only male member on the Elon dance team. Zeno says he was nervous about joining the female-dominated sport. That said, he's frustrated when other men disrespect the athlete's work. Dance has allowed me to have a gateway to express how I feel when I can't speak it anymore. Zeno never believed he could pursue his dreams of being a dancer, but he gained a sense of confidence after receiving positive feedback on TikTok. During his first practice with the team, he found just what he was looking for. I almost like, I wanted to cry because it's just like, I was dancing with a team. I, we were dancing as one and it looked like we were all the same and I was just like I've never felt like I was like just one with so many people. Zeno says he is optimistic as the team prepares for nationals in Daytona Beach, Florida. To hear more about his story visit our website elonnewsnetwork.com. And that's all the news we have for you tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. For all the news you need to know when we're not on air visit our website elonnewsnetwork.com. And be sure to follow us on social media at Elon News Network. Have a great night, Elon.